All right, hey everybody, you're welcome back. 2050 Studios, we're here from MyCom Labs. We're gonna do a test of the Google Home Max. We're gonna test the frequency response. But right now, first thing we're gonna do is Carl's gonna unbox it, and then we're gonna show how easy or not easy it is to pair to the network. Google Home Max. Let's see what we got here. We've got, you know, Captain Scaredy Pants back. We got Tony Hicks in the corner. We got Joe Murphy, Vocalize AI. We need to give Miguel a name. He needs like a D-Rock name. <laughs> we're looking for like something that he has in there. I don't like just calling him Miguel. It's not much fun. Two different people came in and said, why are you putting a microwave in your own office? We have one in the, in the kitchen. So then as I was walking across the street this morning from uh, my car to here, the guy from the studio, Gabriel, says, are you bringing a microwave in? So, so note to Google self, maybe work on the box a little bit so from a distance it doesn't look like a microwave. Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> What do you think, Captain Skitty Pants? Anything? We need an extension cord. Oh, good. We thought that through. Yes. All right. Well, we found an extension cord, so we're back. All right, Carl? Yep. All right. So in the box, we have the AC cord and also a warning from Google. A warning? What's the warning? The warning is be safe. So the best thing about unboxing these things are usually peeling the sticker. So Rob... There yeah, that was pretty satisfying. I'll stick it Look there at that. Is. Okay. I like the smell. It's got the Google Assistant uh, application here on my phone. All right. This is where we do like editing and we fast forward and cut to things because we just sit here. Waiting. Holy crud! Whatever the word is, it was that fast. That's just it booting up. The other one that we tested, I think it took like literally like 45 minutes. Then we got a warning. That said what what it was like three days for the download or something it wanted to do it was a long three hours time. three hours three hours and then after it took like four or five tries to actually get it to pair we just uh, the magic of a video but Google is not endorsing this video is in no way shape or form involved this we went to the store we bought this at Best Buy and we're just doing it on our own to see and compare and be interested in what these uh, devices actually put out for frequency response audio quality whatever you want to say now is a good time for um, people at large companies that make and manufacture these to send me hate mail about something I've said wrong. You did it on the last run, even though I said we were using music, not white noise or pink noise, but we were just messing around. That was pretty quick, pretty painless. <clears throat> Connecting to the Google Home Max. May take a minute or two. Did you hear the sound? I sure did. There was a sound. <laughs> yes. People were waving to us. We're waving back. Like monkeys? A little bit. I, I, it's, this is not the first time I've been treated like that. When I got hired there, though, it was they talked about how they, they barely heard anything. This guy just says, I like your energy. And so it was a little like like a monkey behind glass running up and down in the thing, keeping people entertained. Okay, Google. Maybe not. Nope. Hello, Google? Well, this thing going, this little white indicating to me is something's happening. Oh, it's yeah. It's, it's just installing an update. It's an oh, update. another update out of the box. Was this got three four hours? four minutes left. Four minutes. Better than three hours. Better than three hours. <laughs> <laughs> How are we here. doing? Are we still doing an update? Three minutes left. Come on, Google. We should be t stop watching this and be like, is it really three minutes? Because, you know, they lie on the iPhone. It'll say like it'll say like a minute left for like a half an hour. It does say your patience will be rewarded. Ooh. So. We'll be rewarded. We Not if we play Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews. <laughs> 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 Got some haters in the crowd here. Oh, re, re, you know, the thing is, I've hired him now. For I ten, call it a realist. Te, yeah. Ten years. I, I keep hiring him for different jobs. And this is the love I get. Right. I plucked him out of the gutter. Twice. Twice. Out of <laughs> oh, look at that. There it is. Look at how pretty. I like the lights. That was 45 seconds. That was, that was way so, faster so than three minutes. So then they lie. Okay, Google. Play Dave Matthews. That artist is only available for Google Play Music subscribers. It's a sign. <laughs> no but Dave try Matthews. this Google Play Music Dave Matthews band station. PlayStation, that's cool too. Okay, Google. Set the volume to 50. So is it 1 through 10 or 1 through 100? How do they do it? You can do it in, in steps 1 through 10 or you can do it in percentages. Google. Okay, Google. Set the volume to 80%. I said that's pretty bad. I will admit. And, okay, Google. Set the volume to 40%. That was a, a seamless pairing. Yeah, definitely. Seamless. That was pretty badass. We didn't even have to really edit anything. Yeah. It'd be a little boring to sit there for 45 seconds, but that's pretty killer. Yeah. So I would say pairing-wise, out of the box, 
this one's far superior than the last one we did. Yep, no instructions whatsoever. It's just download the app and it's ready to go. And it worked super fast. Yep. Actually, it's kind of interesting to me. Every time you tell it to change the volume, it changes the volume really quickly without a, like a lag and a pause. On the other ones we've tested, if you say, okay, somebody, set the volume to 10, it's this weird like lag and pause. Right. Okay, Google, set the volume to 100%. Set the volume to 20%. You didn't even have to shout at it. I didn't. Actually, that was pretty impressive. At the other one we tested also, we were screaming over the top for it to hear us, and it kept having trouble. So, so far, impressive as hell. Yep, I agree. We'll see what we get when we uh, take it in the other room and check the frequency response. What do you think, gallery? Any peanut gallery comments? Peanut gallery? I don't know, whatever they are. <laughs> All right, man. good. We'll see you in the other room. Yep, we'll see you there. All right, here we are. We're in the, uh, the ISO booth quiet room, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take some frequency response measurements, so now we're going to make the Google Max uh, play a song. We've got the Farfield microphone about 50 centimeters away, and so we'll see what happens after this. Right? Yep, let's get it done. All right. Okay, Google. Play Dave Matthews. That artist is only available for Google Play Music subscribers. Not available. You better become a subscriber. Okay, Google. Set the volume to 60%. All right, let's go in the other room. So here we are in the studio. We've got Dave Matthews playing through the speaker in the other room. And here's the frequency analyzer. And as you can see, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna turn this over to Captain Scaredy Cans to talk to you in detail about what we're seeing on the screen. All right, so again, we're just using a, using a song here. We'll get to, to a noise track in a minute, so it's a little hard to see where it is on the low frequency. But you can definitely see some high frequency movement all the way up through about 10K, and then really it tapers off. We're getting back to the noise floor of the microphone. There's a little bit of response at, say, 12, 14 or so, but this is, this is pretty much hitting 10K and then falling off a cliff. Um, on the low frequency, we're getting down to about 40... Um, before we start falling on that cliff again. Um, in the 30 range, you've got a little bit of movement, but this is honestly probably not the speaker. Um, so frequency response is a little narrower than the, the last time we were at, but we'll see what the, the noise says. All right, so I'm gonna go back in the other room. I'm gonna actually get uh, the Google product to play white noise, and we'll do this again. We'll see what we get. Be right back. All right, so pink noise should be a nice, even progression uh, in amplitude. So your highest amplitude should be on the low frequency, and then it should taper off. Um, if you're doing anything but that, it means the speaker is not responding as well as it should at, at one frequency or another. And what you can see is a pretty nice even line coming down all the way to, um, I guess I overestimated, all the way down to about 16, 18K, uh, where we've got a good frequency response. But what you see is this line is actually not nearly as sharp as it should be, which means on the low frequency, it's not responding the way that it should. Um, so it's a few dB lower than it should be on the low frequency, but you're getting a pretty stable response down to 50, 60. Um, so I'd say the, the low end of this where you're actually getting a reasonable response would be about 50 hertz, um, going all the way up into, uh, I can't see a line here, maybe 18K, probably 16 or 17K. So in this, you know, we paid $399 for this out of the box at one of the big box retailers. I don't know who Best Buy or somebody like that. So overall, I'd say still pretty damn good, right? Yeah, I mean, this is this is what I would expect. Uh, you know, unequalized, uncalibrated out of, uh, you know, a, a mid-level studio monitor for two or three times that price. Yeah, uh, and, and the convenience, you can just say play this and it plays it, or, or turns on your lights or whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah. So, pretty good. All right, so that's that. One, two, three, and ten. Are you ready? All right, make it easy ready. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're not paying me by the hour, Rob. Come All right. on. All right. Anyway. Thank you all very much. We're here. We're closing out at 25th Street Studios. We just finished filming the Google Max and testing the frequency response. We have a thank you to Captain Scaredy Pants over there for narration, the unnameable one. Thank you to Tony Hicks coming in and doing some reporting. Joe Murphy, Vocalize AI. Carl, myself from MyCom Labs. Yep. We've got everybody from 25th Street Studios. Thank you, Gabriel, very much back there. He's waving. He's not really waving. I'm waving him. And uh, anything else? No, that's it. All right. That's all we got. We'll talk to you next time. Yep.